the end of the day, we have to all be responsible for our own well-being. We can't rely on anyone but ourselves to take care of ourselves. And part of getting really good at managing our own well-being and maintaining it is learning to check in on a regular basis with how we're going with things. So one tool I really like to share with educators is the mood check-in. And what you do is get into the habit each day as often as you remember to just ask yourself this simple question. What am I feeling right now? And once you know what you're feeling, perhaps ask yourself the next question, which is, what was I thinking just before that? Just to give you a little bit more information about the connection between your emotions and the thoughts that occur before them. So that's a really great way to start checking in with yourself more often. And there are many more tools like that throughout the book. When we're looking at triggers, you know, what are the triggers for reduced well-being? It's stress. Uh, it's, it's engaging in highly stressful activities or even in a general level of stress in our day but also not knowing what to do with that. So anything that's difficult that you can't then process and articulate and move through your mind and body constructively will really reduce your state of well-being. Some of the worrying signs that educators need to look out for that might be an indication that their well-being is at a low, among other things, Sleeplessness, so difficulty falling asleep, difficulty staying asleep are often warning signs of high levels of stress and not managing our well-being. Other things you might notice are your emotions are a little bit more uncomfortable than usual. So you might be experiencing more sadness or changes in mood or anxiety. The other things you might want to look out for are changes in your lifestyle. So perhaps you aren't eating as well as you usually would or exercising as much or socialising as much as you need to. Or you might find yourself eating more than you need to or engaging in unhelpful habits that you do hoping that they'll manage your stress and help you feel better but in the long term aren't so good for you.